Hey, Will and Ryan here with the USA Guts podcast. We're here to review the 2023 Wisconsin State Championships. Today, we're going to be watching the Losers Bracket Finals and between the DM Dragons and Shadow Bop. And we'll just be talking through the game a little bit. Um, we might be talking about our own tournament experiences there this year and teams that either impressed us, players that impressed us, things like that. All right. Let's get started. All right. All right, here we got 0-0 zero, zero, Burt with the first shot. Looks like he hit Carter. I don't know. Carter just threw it to somebody. Uh, okay. It's Al Bear. Dude, every time Al threw that flipper against our team, um, it hit me. It was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, a word of uh, apologies. We are trying out some new technology on the fields. Uh, we, we're using monopods with our cameras. Um, so you might notice some some movement. So uh, we're still trying to get it right. So just give us some some slack there. So. All right, Al Scorer makes it one to one. Bob Dragons. This is the loser bracket finals elimination round. The loser goes home. Oh, buddy. So it was. I thought that it was a bit of a strange call for Noah to. Just pull out the thumber against Shadow Bop. I there were quite a few of us on the sidelines. I mean, it's were, ballsy, right? Like they see thumbers. They do, but and it was working. It was so like I don't fault him for it, but like it was kind of like really, dude. Is this what you want to do? Okay, I mean, I mean, if you're more accurate or you know you think it gives you a better shot to win, throw it for sure. But yeah, against a team that like plays against thumbers all the time it's a it is a definitely a ballsy ballsy move yeah and uh it, i mean it was windy that day so maybe that had to do with part of that decision yeah um i think flippers thumbers yeah do some the, dancing you know in that wind i thought flippers were very um effective at this tournament just because there was just enough wind either in the face or to the back to <laughs> really make those things dance, you know? Mm -hmm. So. So talking about DM Dragons, this is their first tournament as DM Dragons. Um, sponsored, sponsored by, um, Wolfpack. Sponsored by <laughs> Wolfpack. <laughs> yeah. Flipper up top. Goes down. Yep. That's wide. So, Wow. Yeah, there there's a a lot of can we pause it? All right. Yeah, so as far as DM Dragons goes, it's basically Wolfpack and they added Bert and they added a new guy to their team. Uh what was his name? Um Pat. Pat. <clears throat> he uh he had some very good shots. We we talked about him earlier in the last podcast, but um, yeah, I he he had a couple of shots that really made people like, holy crap, dude, this guy can he can sling it. The only thing th that he really has to do is to just get used to the frisbee itself, because it is light, it is way lighter, um, and he's used to playing disc golf. Where you know you're launching it at a upwards trajectory, right? And so I felt like once he can kind of play, just play more. If he just plays more, he'll be fine, you know. But um, yeah, he's got a ton of potential for sure. Will Blau playing some stellar defense. He's just bagged the last couple shots that came at him. All right, he hit Pat. Let's see. Let's see if Pat throws some fire back. Oh, it looks like a switch point. Six, five, yeah, switch, and drives and in the lead, and that's the next thing for Pat is the the defense on you know those high level shots. Eventually, he'll he'll you know get used to it. But oop, see, there's that disc golf throw. But yeah, that'll come with experience. I mean, yeah. this is literally his first tournament. Yeah, so. and probably what his <laughs> third time throwing the disc, you know. So yeah, in a guts environment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, so it's just, you know, so Bop is, or, um, the dragons are, moved him inside. Hoping that if he can get a good hand on it, his team can surround it. Oof. That was close. Yep. Nice pop by Bert. Braden, dude. He, I love his shot, dude. Yeah, it's wicked. It's, I. He's just got to keep it out of the bag zone. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Ooh wee. I forgot he has still, the staker. <laughs> yeah. I forgot he has a staker. I think it's so fast. It like bounces while it's yep. on its way to you. Oh. Unfortunate trap. That one there didn't have a lot of wind action on it. No. Plus Carter got hungry. Alright, here comes Luke with a very odd lefty forehand. Like usually it's like he's throwing it from down by the, his feet. It's it's really kind of it it looks great, you know, like for cameras. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it's pretty quick too. Yeah. Absolutely. Nice. Yeah, it was a two. Good move in front though. Ooh, oh, look at Will Blau. Even Will Blau was like, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. <laughs> All right. I like the look on Elle's face on that, too. Let's rewind just a touch. Like, they they must have thought that was pretty fast. And I know personally Pat throws really, really fast. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Look at Weird Elle's face. He's like, yeah, Elle's, that was fast. Elle's like, yeah, pretty good. <laughs> uh, Will's. Will's mouth is agape. <laughs> <laughs> Although, to be fair, Steve-O throws some fire. Though. Yeah. Like, I mean, that one hit the ground first, but... First shot of the game, I believe. There we go. Right I'm going to go ahead and bet money <clears throat> that this goes in. Yeah. Got Steve-O throwing on the return shot. He's going to throw a banger, probably. Hey, Pat got a good hang on it. Though. Yeah. That's impressive. That's that's a really hard shot. And Pat has been railing that outside hand. Yeah. He's doing good. Been doing pretty good. 12 ton switch. Bob takes the, the lead for the switch on this one. Mm hmm. Oof. Wow. That was. Yeah, man. If mid -tasty. you don't see Thummers, I mean. Even if you do see Thummers, that's going to get past you. But, yeah. Let's let's watch that one just one more time. I wish there was like a slow mode. Like, that is nasty. Wow. <laughs> Good luck. Anybody catching that. Yeah. 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 Solid hand. Al's smiling because his hand is bleeding now. <laughs> Shout out to Al, who had a bloody nose earlier in the tournament and uh, found some a creative way to, oh, he's got to on this. get that stop. Oh, yeah. That's a great that spot. A great spot yeah. There you Al's go. shots are just consistently in that upper quadrant like yeah. above your head. I'm wondering if flippers are best up top. Because I find that they're easier to read and to catch when they're up top. Versus I, down low with that downward spin. I mean, maybe you get your hand. I mean, whether it's up high, you can get your hand underneath it and it's rolling into your hand. Or if it's down low, it's 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 rolling into your body. Like the spin, right? Mm -hmm. no, or not the spin, but the, the disc. So, I don't know which one's... Like, where is the best spot for someone to shoot a, a, a flipper? Personally, I think it's low. 13-13. The pressure is on. Carter outside, man. Up top. Dude. He's so accurate. There's not there. much anybody can you do You can't hide shot. anybody from you, Carter. You can't. Well, the only way you even get closer to that is you have to jump like crazy to get even a piece of it. Ooh, that looked vertical. Yep. That puts the dragons up one. Got that nice thumber Ooh. back. Got him. Yeah, Noah. 
get He's got active, a fast son. backhand. And... Here comes the old birdie backhand. Oh, and Will, that. That was a good spot. he's a thirsty boy. He's thirst. <laughs> he likes those backhands, eh? That was a great shot. Brain. Oh, dude. all right, so. Staker. There you go, Al. <laughs> well, I like to think Braden has like a steampunk approach the way he like winds up like that. And <laughs> it's like charging. Mm -hmm. oh, we could see another thumber. Let's see where he puts it. Ooh. See that that it's, it's that working. has more bounce than I remember. Yeah, it doesn't have the the speed or balance of like the top end thumbers. Yeah, but it is working against Bob, so it's got it's good. doing something. Yeah, something right. That's tasty. <laughs> yeah, if you're Luke on that end, you got to stay home. I could I could watch Carter and Stevo throw thumbers from behind the line all day. Like <laughs> I love watching those things fly. We should have a thumbers only comp. <laughs> that would, yeah, just ten minutes of thumbers. I feel like, dude, that would be amazing. I we got to like, do that. I feel like we would have to mix in the old thumbers too. Oh, one hundred percent. Yeah. Did you see that video that was like pushed out on the internet recently, or of like the old thumbers? There's this video that I watched recently of like uh, it was a tournament, and you had it was like everybody at the tournament was throwing thumbers. Yeah. And not only were they throwing thumbers, they were like all baller thumbers like they're yeah. all like stellar yeah like steve-o or better yeah 100 yeah it's it it like blew my mind like i don't know i would love to try and play guts back then oh like, I, yeah. like i want to throw my my slider at them or like, oh dude i i i have this see whole if they can catch my back <laughs> i have this whole thing where like i want to go like with the all-time boomtown team and i want to go to like the 1979 IFT and I like I how 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 do we stack up you know mm -hmm. um I bet you we would get used to thumbers quite <laughs> quite fast because we would have to but yeah like it would be amazing to do that but you know it we would, can't so <laughs> there would be a lot of like calculations because if in my mind like are they throwing lefty or righty thumber because like you're always if they're throwing righty like it's gonna bounce one way and then bounce the other yep. way. if they're throwing left it's gonna bounce this way and then yeah. this way. So it's like I'd be like, oh, which hand are they throwing? Oh, they did to turn around. They got me. Like, yeah. <laughs> and um, shout out to uh, Tommy Matuzek, rest in peace. Um, he had one of the all-time best shots, lefty thumber, and they're like it was faster than you know blue blazes, and it moved you know three times. It like and it was accurate. Like that would, I would love to have seen that shot. Hell yeah. I would love to see that as well. All right. We go back to the game. Luke, uh, about to throw a 17 shooting 19. Here we go. There you go. Thank you very much. Let's get some Steve-O action. Playing to 21 points. Oh, that's, that's the wrong time to dump. Ties it up, 1919. Oh, what? Uh oh. Was that a catch? No, it hit the ground. 20, 20, 20, 20. That, that was pretty close, that to, was vertical. close to vertical. <laughs> but it wasn't, so 2020. Burt throws. Carter with the snag. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Connor, baby. <laughs> Connor you know Carter in this place. Connor with this. <laughs> oh yeah, that's the exact right move. That's, that's the exact right move. <clears throat> you go after the new guy, who, while he does have a hot shot, if you can throw it at him, you have a way higher percentage of getting those points. Like that's the correct move. Yeah. When it, in a close game, if you know Dragons have been playing great defense, you you go after the noob. If you smell blood in the water, somebody's injured, you know, or you know, it's a it's a newer player. 
Like you 100% have to go after him, and especially and, in the losers bracket finals. And Connor did a great job hitting hitting him too. Yeah. He hit him in the outside hand, like right yeah. under it his arm. It wasn't on. Yeah, and that's kind of ballsy too. But that's what you have to do if you if you want to win. Like when you start getting into the loser bracket finals or finals, like you got to be able to hit your guy, Absolutely. even if he's on the outside, on the right hand outside with a backhand. Yeah, like that was that was a great shot, Connor. All right, twenty-one, twenty-one. We got a ball game, gentlemen. They're still targeting Pat. I yep. think that's the first Pat shot, maybe, that they wrangled mm -hmm. under control. Nice. Critical stop. That's a great stop. I don't know if that was Pat or Bert, but either way, wow. beautiful. Oh! Did you see the bounce on that shot? Wow. That was so close. That was great. I want to watch that again. Great up by Steve-O. Look at this. That thing dove. Dude, like it, that, feet. it was... <laughs> it's like the slider just like yeah. if you rotated it 90 degrees. You're, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like up and down. Yeah, that had a lot of good That's elevator wild. music on that one. <laughs> good hand by Steve. I mean, I like that elevator music. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that was an incredible shot. Great hand by Steve. <clears throat> Bop just couldn't quite get to it. Oh wow! What a spot. Not a lot of people are going to catch that. In the box, in the gap, mm -hmm. with a Steve-O thumber. That's a big play, big play. They could end that was a great game. shot by Noah. It, un, it was a lucky bounce for Bop, unlucky for Noah. Oh, and that seals the game. Looks like Bop takes the win. Finger. They advance <laughs> to the finals to play against Monte Carlo. Yeah, that was a that was a great game. 24-22. I mean, there were a lot of dumps in that one too for both sides. Yeah, you'd love to see a game that goes beyond 21 and you just get into a who can win by two moment. Free guts. And it could have been either team is just who showed up and who doesn't dump. Um, and yeah, looks like Bob squared that one away. Yep. Yeah, uh, congrats to them, and uh, I think uh, DM Dragons should be, you know, happy with their placement. Um, they might have been the top team. I think, well, no, they might not have been. They were the top team. They were the number one seed. The Dragons? Yeah. Were? Nice. And so, um, but, yeah, I mean, with playing with a rookie on their team, they only had five for the tournament. Um, that could be very draining, and yeah, I mean, it also it wasn't your normal rookie either. So true, let's, true. <laughs> so that's that's one thing. But they only had five guys, and they took third. Um, I think that's that's pretty good for them. Yeah, they got third with a with a rookie, literally his first tournament. Yep. Like Pat played great. Um, you know, dumps are to be expected, and yep. and traps are to be expected from yep. new players. So I think. Pat did an amazing job. Um, definitely the rookie of the tournament. Uh, yeah. Like MV, MV, rookie MVP. <laughs> yeah. Um, I had a lot of people say, like, how is this guy rookie? Like, yeah. They're giving him the first shots. There's he, no way. They were. <laughs> yeah. All right. What do you think? Did Was he as fast as I was? Uh... I didn't play him. Oh, I got <laughs> We never played him. Scott, shout out to Scott Stotts. Sure, and he was probably trying not to throw like a Hondi P, who probably tried yeah. to like get, yeah, get probably, the shot in a lot of the time. Yeah, too, just but. put it in. I would bet over the course of, of the tournament, though, he probably threw some real zingers. Oh, like, yeah. Uh, somewhere. Yeah. Did um, you guys face him? No. Oh. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. <laughs> um, also, one more uh, prediction from our last podcast I wanted to mention. Um I think I was wrong about uh, John Ledke. I now think that John Ledke is the <laughs> fastest assassins yeah. thrower on, on the assassins team. Um, 
on Saturday, John against us. Mm-hmm. John was I don't know if it was because of my comment, but he was, <laughs> he was letting him rip and they were fast. Let me tell you what. Like, fast boy. I was like, "All right, all right." Like John has that special movement on his shot too. It's it just yeah, tips it's, over. It's like it is a, it is a tip that. over kind of like it's <clears throat> it it wants to go like flip up and go vertical, but like it doesn't and it just kind of it it tilts. It it's got that you know, flipping motion to it, which means the only way you're bagging it is if your hand was going to miss it beforehand. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, but yeah, dude, John's a beast. <laughs> All right. So congrats, John. You're the fastest throw in assassins. No Good job, um, John. Until the twos come and try and prove me wrong. Ooh. All right. All right. Uh, thanks for watching. We're going to move on to the next video in the series like and subscribe and uh, come watch the the results of the wisconsin state championships finals with us hi mom hey dad